everyone, welcome to your PDA. I am Priyanka Tyagi, Faculty of Civil Engineering at your PDA. First of all, congratulations to all of you who have qualified written exam of BHEL and are now aiming for interview. So this video of mine is related to interview guidance for civil engineering students. At the end of this video, I will share with you a document in which I have framed some 30 important questions that can be asked in your interview and have been asked from your previous uh, BHEL interview, right? So I have included all those questions here. As you all know that for civil engineers, there are 40 vacancies and students have been called in one is to five ratio. That means 200 students have been selected for the interview round. So I want to tell you that um, your interview preparation is very different from your written exam, right? In your written exam, what you get? You get MCQs. If you know the concept, if you know the numericals, if you know the formulas, what you uh, you get the answer and you tick mark it, right? But in your interview, you don't know what the panel is going to ask you, how you're going to respond, uh, what is your, uh, so how, how much subject knowledge do you have, right? For example, if you are a BTEC student, right? If you have done graduation, then questions can be asked related to your um, project, BTEC project and if you are uh, doing your job then some situation based questions can be asked, right? So for that I would, uh, I would suggest you that you give mock interviews as you all know that your PDA is the biggest platform for interview preparation. We have experienced mentors in civil engineering background and it is high time for you to start giving mock interviews rather than you know giving interviews, uh, mock interviews just three or four days before, right? So some of the questions from your interview point of view, which is very important that you should have a thorough knowledge are structures, RCC and your building materials, your geotechnical engineering, especially the foundation part. And also if you know some of the softwares like Stat Pro, AutoCAD, that would be an added advantage for you, right? So um, now I will share with you the document that I have framed some important questions, for example, from building materials, right? What is workability? I know you all know the answer. What is workability? You have written, you know, the factors affecting workability, but do you know how to uh, frame that answer? Like how to present that answer in front of the uh, interviewer? What are the, what is the autoclaving process? What is de-shuttering? Do you have enough knowledge of all the codes? Do you know the stripping time? or various labs, beams, columns, what is a plinth beam, its purpose in a building and it is not provided in every structure, why, what, what is the reason for that, what are NDT, what is NDT, where is it conducted, is it conducted on hardened concrete or the fresh concrete and what are its various, what are the various types of NDT, what is the benefit of using ACC blocks in construction, what are green and sustainable materials? As you all know that green technology, sustainable technology is very upcoming and people are asking questions related to this. So you need to know about some of the sustainable materials that are being used these days, right? What is insulated concrete forms they're working? So these are some of the questions from building materials that were previously asked in the interview and some important questions also. From RCC, you should have a thorough knowledge, as I told you, you should have a thorough knowledge of all the codes, like what IS456, what is the grade of concrete, what are the qualities of good concrete, how to ensure cover before and after con casting, how will you design M20 mix, what is the code for design mix, right? And do you have any idea about pre-cast structure? What is the difference between pre-cast and cast in situ? You should have all these knowledge. And some of the questions from geotechnical engineering, basically that I told you, the foundation part. It is very important that you have this knowledge of foundation, like what are the types of foundation, how to use, when to use, which foundation, if there is a clay, what kind of foundation will you provide, right? And also what are the failures of foundation? What are the types of shear failures? And what is soil exploration? How will you find OMC? How will you achieve OMC in the field? What are batter piles? And for example, if you have to design a power plant, what are the steps that you will take to design the power plant? So these are some of the 30 questions that I have covered. In next video, I will give you a detailed explanation 
of all these topics and also I will come up with some new questions from these subjects and also from other subjects. Till then as I told you I suggest you to give mock interviews and your PDA is the biggest platform for that and you can also refer to some of the mock interview videos that are uh, on our channel and uh, till then all the best. Thank you.